了吧？可以啊。嗯Fish farming is gradually becoming one of the most lucrative business in Nigeria. As a result, a good number of people are venturing into the business. Likewise, before, but as lucrative as fish farming can be, a lack of proper information concerning the business can lead to a loss. So, what is fish farming in the first place? According to aquaculture experts, fish farming is an act of rearing fish for commercial purpose, and this involves building the iron or concrete pan. Fertilizing the pond, stocking the finger link in good water, and feeding till they are mature enough for marketing. However, it is important to know that of the complex number of fish species around the world, only a few selected are fitable for fish farming. Fish farming involves uh, raising of fish commercially in tanks or enclosure for food, and it's also a principal form of aquaculture. And there again, we say aquaculture uh, animal of plant in bracket you say fish that lives in water body, either in an enclosed concrete tank or eating pond. Fish live in different water bodies. We have fresh water body, we have brackish, and we have the marine. And for this Japan, this zone is fresh water body. And yeah, like yeah, like this place now we rear catfish, which is Clara's galapinos or Clara's ancularis. We also have tilapia. We also have more fishes like the Etrobrancos, Madosali, and Etrobrancos longifilis. What are the types of fish pond? As a starter, it is best for you to consult an expert in order to know the pond types that is best for you. Source of water, vitamin, and general maintenance of the pond based on where you intend to carry out the activities of the farm. There are three types of pond, and they are earthen ponds, concrete ponds, and plastic tank ponds. What you should know before starting fish farming: buy earthen vinculin and juvenile from farm that produce them feed them two times in a day do not change water instantly after feeding so that they do not vomit the fish replace water after two or three days with fresh water it is advisable to give fish vitamin supplements to keep them disease free and healthy the fee could also be either flour meal or small pellet size sort fishes by size as they grow to avoid the bigger ones eating up the smaller ones buy your own pizza land to make your own feed as this could help to reduce costs store your feed in a cool dry place to keep them from rodents and pests it is also advisable to attend seminars to engage and to gain knowledge from aquaculture experts. Mr. Adubeji explain how to set up fish farming business. The 
before you set up a fish farm, I say, first thing you must put in place one land, then capital, protection. What I mean by protection, and if you look at this, our farm now, it's fenced by barbed wire. Now we are preventing it from those that will come into our farm to steal our fish. So there must be form of security in your farm. That is one. The capital I talked about is for you to be able to build your pond. Do you understand that? Then, fourthly, the drainage system. Now we have two types of drainage system. We have the surface drainage system, we have the underground surface uh, underground drainage system. Now the surface is the one we adopt here. The underground is more expensive. Do you understand now? So now before you build your pond, you must consider your drainage system first. So that the water, when you want to release water from your pond, will not go to your neighbor's house. And inside the water is going to your neighbor's house. They are calling for trouble, which your neighbor will not be happy with. Because when you release the water of your pond, the water will be smelling. So that is why the first thing you consider first before building your pond is the drainage system. Where is the water going to before you might build your pond? But building the pond before locating drainage system is difficult. It's a rough estimate of maybe four by six. That is a rough estimate because prices of things go higher every day. I cannot tell you this is what it will cost. A rough estimate. If you have hundred thousand, you will build a pond. Do you understand now? But that this is the actual money. We say we we'll go to do our market survey. We will now come and do the calculation because you don't just build pond. You understand? goes by dimension and there's a calculation the dimension of your pond the capacity that will carry that pond when you calculate it you know fish farming especially catfish is most compatible with poultry farm as you can use the poultry for your fish feed product is by far the most popular animal products in the market constituting more of 60% of the meat produced in Nigeria market. Fish is one of the highest source of protein. What you need to start a fish farm. Secure a land, construct pond, make a borehole. In securing a land, unlike most business, any location is good for fish farming because fish does not cause any environmental disturbance. You can either hire or buy depending on how you intend to run it. However, if you have leftover space in your compound that can accommodate two or three fish pond, you can start a business. In constructing a pond, here you will need the service of an expert pond construction engineer. Do not overlook this as there are things need to be done properly to ensure that everything work fine. For example, the plumbing work must be properly done to ensure proper drainage. It is important to emphasize here that when it comes to fish farming, adequate water supply is more like the lifeblood. Therefore, lack of adequate water may result in disaster because water needs to be changed as often as possible. Juvenile fish. Where you get your juvenile fish is very important 
because if they are not ready enough, then you are in for a loss already. If you want to maximize a performance and the maintenance of your fish pond, you absolutely need to install bottom drainage. It is not a matter of opinion, they are fundamental most. Why then the fish farmer needs to dredge water from the pond? We have intensive and extensive. Intensive are fishes that grow and feed naturally in water, like rivers or streams. When extensive is the one we cultured in. That is why I say fish farming involves raising of fish in tanks or enclosure. We are the one culturing it. So when you put in water, there's need for you after two days to change the water because the feed you put introduce into the pond, some of the fish will not pick the feed, they will drop, they will go down into the water and pollute the water. And if you don't change the water, it will pollute the water and your fish will start dying. So to avoid casualty in your pond, there's need for you to change water every two days, depending on how you feed. Because secondly, feeding habit is very important in fish, in fish farming. No, you will locate a feeding point where you feed your fish. Now, you, when you construct your pond, there's what we call outlets. The outlet is where the water passes through. Now, at fingering stage, you introduce what we call this pipe that you pervert. Now, you are pervertting those pipes so that water will only pass through, fish will not pass through. The drainage. Are you getting me? But as they are growing up, that you know they can pass through that drainage, you can still remove the pipe, or the pipe can still remain at that spot. Fish serve faster than any other animal products in the market and relatively cheaper than meat making. It is the number one choice. When it comes to affordability, fish grow very fast as practice in fish farming working. It is possible for farmers to increase fatness of their products by giving them certain feed. Fish is the biggest source of omega-3 fatty acid which is extremely beneficial to human health. Our first is one of the most important parts of fish. This face is under equipped and poorly planned in cage and risk way. A vest may be simple as partial drainage. Then adding and removing fish with a deep net. A fish pan can be the most labor intensive or aquatic activities.